So, namaste and greetings to everyone. I warmly welcome all the participants and the watchers from India and around the world. I am Khushi and I'll be your host for this session. So, let's welcome our last speaker of this evening, Priya Khokar. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited and thank you for introducing me. Yeah, we are so yeah. happy to have you here to share your likewise. knowledge and experience with us. Yeah, likewise. So let, me tell you, let, me, let me tell you something about her. She is a very energetic content creator and a marketing enthusiast. She is also a film reviewer who is driven by passion and creativity. Now I request Priya to start with, the, with her session. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you for having me guys over here. And uh, it's been a pleasure. And I was there, I was, uh, you know, watching some screenings of the film. And so it feels so nice to, you know, see all those brilliant talent up there. And uh, I would like to like, you know, have a special moment for Rajat, uh, you know, for giving you guys a platform and uh, bringing all of you guys together. It feels so, you know, um, nice to see you all guys together with all these things efforts you have put in and finally you know seeing them uh, on screen it's so you know such a good moment for all of you but specifically yeah the thing i would be talking about today is the fact that um how you guys have to stay focused and um uh, mentally physically which is most important during the process you know we all have heard this saying which says uh that you know the journey is more important than the destination you know yeah. of course um the outcome of the film right. we are putting loads of hard work in it we're putting our you know blood and sweat in it of course we want it to do well but then there's something in the journey you know we're creating memories you might have seen all these people giving interviews they say they're saying we love the fact how our journey went so if we're not mentally and physically prepared, the journey is not going to be nice. Yeah. So for me, what I'm going to tell you today is how to, you know, tackle all those things, mm -hmm. how to tackle the difficulties you're facing physically and mentally. And everyone over here would be, you know, agreeing with me that um, filmmaking is such a thing that takes like mentally toll over you. So it requires, like, it starts with, like, very integrate planning from what to say, what not to say, and then everything. So, yeah, first of all, um, the first thing I would like to say is how to plan over it so that you can mentally tackle it, yeah? So you need to um, think critically. You need to be prepared for everything, first of all. Um, I would say is a pre-production planning. You need to be planning very carefully and not just you planning as a director or someone who is like, you know, having the authority over the team, but having a good communication with the team and understanding their perspectives as well. So communication is definitely, and I guess everyone, uh, you know, who had who must have spoken today would be saying that communication is the key. And definitely it is. When it comes to filmmaking, it is the key. Talk to your people, talk, know what's the uncertainty of things and the one thing saying uh, when I was back in my graduation days you know a teacher used to say something which is like still stuck with me till date even when I go to work and you know being in marketing sector still today I keep that in my mind which says that um, you know everything every battle is fought in mind you know so every battle needs to be fought in your mind so if you're not really prepared, if you're not fully prepared, you're not like, you know, prepared in your head for that. You, you can never achieve it. Even if you're like, you know, you have all those sources, but until and unless you're not prepared well with your mind, it's never going to happen. So yes, patience is one virtue. You know, you might have heard we plan things this way. It didn't happen this way. Not everyone's in our favor. No, sometimes the weather's not in the favor, sometimes the machine's not in the favor, sometimes the computers, the cameras, with lighting or anything, there might be some things that might not be in a favor. But yes, we need to, you know, be patient because, um, and always have like, you know, a um, creative way to it, to turn odds against, you know, or to turn odds in your favor. So yeah, you can do that. I think we've got like some really creative minds and I've seen that work of yours, you know. And then creative vision. Vision is something what I need. You know, it's not uh, or what I want. It's not that, okay, this thing is happening. So I should make something over it. Don't like, you know, be a person who follows the sheep, you know. 
So be someone who drives and knows what you want. So if I know what I want, I'm going to be fully prepared in my head to bring that down to the screen. If I'm seeing, okay, this particular genre or this particular thing is uh, working around the system and I need to work into this and you might I see everyone has a strengths, you know, and uh, let's say I'm not that well in art and I'm trying to get into that, that might be again a mental pressure on you to perform into that thingy. Yeah, so know what's best for you, know what you want as a person, as a filmmaker, as an audience, what your audience requires, what audience you're catering to. Knowing what you're doing is something to tackle those pressures. Also, uh, I know uh, this is a very common thingy, but then a uh, work-life balance is must, I think. You know, uh, there might be things when you're shooting those very intense scenes. And even as an audience, when I watch some films or when I watch some um scenes they have like impact on my mind and you know that keeps on hitting me okay why the scene is does it actually happen and while you are in this process i think you might have uh, you know you might have a better or greater impact on yourself so for me uh, i would say that um in that scene when you are in that scene um you can what you can do is just stay in that scene and once you're out of the scene just be into your regular self you do not have to be an actor like 24 seven. Of course you have to be, but then not 24 seven, you know? You you are an individual. Once you go back home, stop for that, you know, take a pause for a while. Just do something that you like, do listen to your favorite music, watch your favorite films, do something which you like. That's gonna, you know, take you out from that mental pressure of that character. We have seen lots and lots and lots of, you know, people saying that I was into that character and then that character impacted my habits and yeah that's something character building is different thing but then you know that character or that particular scene or that particular thingy impacting your mental health is a different thing so do whatever you like be creative be fun you know when it's work do work and then come back and be just be Priya or just be Rajat or just be you know spend time with family talk what's the thing in the scene that's you know impacting you there might be some struggle that might be impacting you and then go about it and the other thing is uh, when it comes to you you know bringing the scene if you're not mentally prepared for it you know not every one of us has good days every day sometimes it's a shit thing and then we're like no i don't want to go to the work or i don't want to have a film thingy Nah, i can't do that but then we should then know okay that's my job to do and then i need to you know and keeping those things aside how could that be done you know that could be done only and only when you know the you know there's a very thin line very thin line when you you know as a person to cross between the professional and you know personal life sometimes we tend to erase that line very thin line you know so what we can do for that is always give time to yourself there are days when you know coming from a marketing firm and here in london you know we have like loads and loads of work and then there's some day when i feel like okay i cannot do this anymore i need to you know just take some days off but then you have this big event and big people coming up in and you cannot. The only thing I do is, okay, I need to listen some music. Okay, get myself boosted, get, talk to my friends. Okay, what's this thing hurting me? Or what's the thing that's, you know, getting their advice. So that's something to always have a connection with your friends and family during that period of time so that you know what to do and when to do. Also, uncertainties how to tackle those i have always seen you know i come uh, like doing marketing there was this event when we were doing and uh, this was an outdoor event though and then london weather is tricky you know? so we prepared like for months and months and months for preparing it and then it didn't turn out and it felt like you know uh, not good because everyone was the team was demotivated over the fact that what to do and what not to but then of course there has to be a positive energy positive atmosphere okay what could be done now how to turn those odds in our favor and definitely are we coming from a creative background every one of us would you know emphasize over the fact that um positive energy or positive attitude towards everything is something we need to you know, coming from Generation Z, it's important for us to have that, okay, we can do this, 
there's always something if one door closes there has to be another way out yeah so yeah we can of course do that and also when i was seeing these films definitely i know that you guys are so mentally prepared for it you know what you're doing that's something i was i'm so happy because when i was in college i had to like you know we were always like having concussions over the fact do, doing this doing this doing this but now seeing your films and you know i have been um asking raj to keep sending me your work so i like you know it feels you guys are so mentally prepared so you you guys so very well know it that you know okay this is what i want this is i know what i'm doing and that something shows your strong headedness towards your work and i don't think so i like you know i have to like give you a detailed full fledged thing you over this but then yeah definitely um i think you guys are doing great job and uh, yeah i think that's it yeah thank you any questions yeah i'm, I'm going to take them so thank you so much for the session of yours as you know we are we were addressing the audience rajat from india asked a question like how we can establish flexible schedules or breaks to accommodate individuals who may need extra time of space to cope up with the personal issues see this is uh, you're asking me if we can establish them definitely like uh, considering as a filmmaker or as a director or as a person who is going through films uh, do you have time for that much you know but definitely uh, the breaks can be depending not like you know i'm not talking about 15 days break or something like that uh, you need to check with your um, actors or co-actors like i was seeing alzacs in you know session as well so he's very beautifully he told us that you know once you're on break uh, communication is the key of course you cannot give actors like two months or three months then you have to again work on its character building and everything but definitely small breaks in between uh you can do that and then go ahead with it but stay in touch with them know what's affecting them is it because of their mental health is it because of the workplace is it because of uh, the work atmosphere what is it that is disturbing them talk to them know the problems uh if that problem could just be tackled in like talking to them and solving that problem let's say the a person has a problem with the working atmosphere or working pro- issues or something like that definitely talk to them uh get that sorted if it couldn't be sorted tell them okay give me like two days time give me like 24 hours to get it sorted for you and let's then get back let's give 100% and get back definitely but yes um uh, giving breaks yeah you can do that but then try fixing that problem asap yeah okay so one more question this is from me from india wants to know like how can we create a supportive and an open communication channel for the team to discuss the personal challenges they face without any fear or judgment yeah that's a good question so definitely how to create that you know not everyone is in the team is perfect correct um mm-hmm. uh, everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses i might be good at communicating and someone i might be very poor at graphics you know and then but definitely as a team when you work together also uh, we feel that um communication again i said as the key and everyone might have been telling you um how to do that um let's say you have the scene in your head or you have mm-hmm. particular thing in your head yeah you tell your teammates okay what is your opinion about it some might be comfortable some might not be comfortable to tell them but definitely again you have to build that friendly environment first of all you have to assure as a leader of the team you have to assure them the fact that you're not going to be judged if the person and the workplace yeah. already is giving you the vibes that you know you're going to be judged you cannot speak and you don't have the uh, your opinions not going to be mattered so day one day one of the team you need to make sure of the fact that you validate the fact that everyone's of your opinion is going to be validated every one of you can any time come up to me and be like okay this is not working can we do that and the person who's in charge of everything needs to be very open to criticism and yeah. opinions so if you want your team to come up to you without fear of judgment you have to create that correct so right. yeah i think i, I answered it <laughs> yeah yeah definitely. so can i ask you one more question like yeah, yeah. go ahead if wants to know that so imran wants to know like like how can i not think about personal thing during professional time 
like working professionally how can we stop thinking about our personal life how all right that? yeah that's know? something correct i know uh this is something i go through myself as well being here away from home and then you know there are times yeah. when early in the morning you have a call from your mom saying uh okay this is happening at home and you you like oh god i'm <laughs> going to be there this is such good family function happening and here i am on my with my laptop definitely. you know doing marketing thing definitely it's hard but then there's you know your love for your work or yeah. i know there are some conditions or some things that you cannot skip off your mind and trust me there's no strategy to get off those things but then you know when i'm working and then i'm thinking for back home there's always what this one thing why i am doing this why i am here first place is it this is my love for my work you know that i am 6000 you know so many kilometers away from my home not being able to go back home after my work but this is all the love and i make sure every day when i'm doing i'm talking about myself because this is like you know i don't know what kind of personal yeah. thing you're talking about is it a big thing or a small thing mm. small things are always like you know okay fine let's get this work done and then we'll get back to this thing but then if it is a big thing i don't know how to tell you but definitely uh, always at that point of time i would say because this works for me i always question myself um why did i take this decision definitely that's the love i have for my work the zeal the zest the determination and trust me when you're determined for something that always keeps you going it always yeah. keeps you going the love just keep that love alive the first love you know for filmmaking for <laughs> marketing for content just keep that alive it's going to keep you going i trust me that this works for me i agree with you so there's one more question like can you share some common triggers or challenges that filmmakers face often that can lead to anxiety and depression yeah there are lots of things uh you know i've heard experienced because a lot of friends are filmmakers and you know into this field and myself coming from this field i've heard a lot of people saying that but personally i haven't experienced that though but a lot of people have heard that saying um let's say they they are friends of mine who question sometimes they question and this is like irony because uh, they sometimes question their tendency that did i take the right script did i choose the right thing that's first thing that you know that comes in the doubt and i have seen a lot of filmmakers uh, at fa- first they find the script or thing very nice very good okay they're thinking okay this is going to work but while they are in that process they start questioning themselves okay did i choose the right character did i choose the right script is it going to succeed there are lots of you know um questions coming in the mind regarding the script regarding everything first of all that is something you should not take off you know you take off your mind uh take a script even if you're not liking in the middle just put so much effort into it you know and put your experiences put your individuality uniqueness into it that you start liking it you know mm-hmm. and yeah. questioning stop questioning yourself first of all i have seen lot of friends everyone would be like uh, there are some friends of mine they would like shot one scene and then they would send it to me please review is it going right you know so stop questioning it you are the one who had this vision in your mind about what's going on in your mind i cannot portray that well you only it's only you so number one stop questioning that is something that triggers people just be sure of the fact trust your instincts trust your gut trust me it works wonders second thing i think is um there's sometime you know uncertainty i mentioned earlier while i was speaking um i let's say i have a script in my hand and i'm imagining it in some different way and once you are in that place you have like you know it's just initially it's just you who thought this and then once you are in that scene shooting there are like 10 people okay this could be better this could be better this could be better and you know your initial plan a has turned into something which is mixture a b c t mixture mm-hmm. and then you're seeing that scene and you kind of you know maybe uh you kind of like again you're thinking like it doesn't turn out the way i was expecting it 
because yeah. initially you were the only one who was thinking and now you have a team to think for you to help you out so even if that scene and sometimes you know it doesn't turn out it does turn out so brilliantly that you know people are like uh like i was seeing i was watching an interview of an actor a few days back a pakistani actor and she was like you know the scene was this is how it was and then um i was so much into that scene that you know i improvised a bit and then yeah. my director was like you know oh god you did well this is i didn't imagine it this way you know so there's always like um as a filmmaker always have this in mind to have a scope of newness mm. have a scope that anything could be changed at the moment according to situations so these two triggers are something that i find very common and then there's definitely this thing then when your actors or your people around or your team are not giving this is i i hear a lot of complaints about this my actors are not giving too much my my people are not giving too much you know i'm i'm really upset about the fact that this is what i was yeah. expecting from them this is this didn't turn out well this didn't they didn't like this they didn't like this you know they wanted me to change the scene and something like that yeah definitely that something um to think over of course as a team but definitely be practical every one of you when you're choosing a team have scope for communication have understand be cooperative to each other and definitely just be open and trust your process just trust your process be open that's it so Yeah, I agree with you. It happens with me as well. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. So this will be the last portion of the session. So, how can an editor find motivation to initiate the post production process? Like, as it takes a kick to begin the process, or the starting has always takes time. So, how can we mentally counter that? Okay. So, post production, yes, definitely. Oh, post production. While I am editing the content, trust me, it's yeah, it's. I can't explain what is it. Oh, so yeah, that's a difficult question. But then definitely, yeah. Uh, how to tackle it? While, okay, you have this big screen in front of you, and you have this so many layers in front of yeah. you. You know, okay, this scenes look nice. This scenes look perfect. What should I do? and specifically definitely it requires a kick you know the determination to get over that you know editing chair and get it done it does yeah. and first of all i would say um the first step is you're done with the film you're done shooting with the film now now all you have left is post production you have to you have to have vfx you have your editings you have your lighting you have your sounds take that from mind you know i have seen people and lots of my friends do that as well they are always like second headed okay i'm going to sit on the editing chair if i think that this scene doesn't fit i'm going to reshoot it you know yeah this question comes in their mind definitely i'm not saying that you cannot do it definitely you can do this but then just do, while editing and while sitting on the chair don't think okay i'm going to reshoot it because you know okay. um uh, or don't show don't think that okay i'm going to change it i'm going to do that just sit there mentally okay this is what i've got i've got like you know the shakalaka boom boom pencil thingy in my hand <laughs> and i'm going to create something nice from it okay yeah? definitely first thing making up you know not having a plan b as of yet as of yet just like okay. strat yeah just said think oh, this is what i've got okay start with emo not just like not thinking of it as this is my film because you know when when you're making something you're always going to think okay you're going to get emotionally attached to it and definitely you know the process of making it makes you emotionally attached to some every, every one of us would get it you yeah. know um so as a editor i have to be editing it as a third person you know over the third view will okay. will this scene impact it will this scene is this scene really necessary or what the other thing i would find in post production is okay this scene is also nice i want this scene as well nahi 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 ye bhi dalna hai ye bhi yeah. dalna hai you know this is something we all face okay the, and then there's so many concussions we will have with people that they're going to be like 
um, there might be two uh, two scenes of the same, you know, two uh, thingies for the two same screen, and then they will be like, this one's better, and you're gonna like this one better, and you're gonna have like concussion, and then yeah, there are lots of things. Just be prepared that what you want again, what you want, because actors have done the job, they have acted, script writers have done the job. Now it's the post production people that are doing it, and. Technically, the film is made in the post-production. Definitely. Yeah, what you want your audience to see, what when you want your audience to see, what you want them, and what time do you want them? How do you want to? You know, everything. That's everything's done on that computer table, on that editing table. Strong-headedness, patience. Just watch it as a third person. Critique it well. Are you liking it as a third person? Do you think it fits well? It's not just your acted acted it really well, and the scene is so nice, but it's not fitting. So try to you know okay. take it off, and all these things I think you should uh, go with. But definitely strong mind, patience, positive attitude is something you require while sitting on the editing table and loads and loads of cups of coffee. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is to be. I agree with you. It happens when I was working on a film, like uh-huh. we did during our last year in the college. So yeah, mm-hmm. we had something in our mind, something different. Then while shooting, some things were going on and off, on and off. But in the post production, we have to do many changes because we can't. We don't have the second plan. We can't reshoot it because of the time constraints. That's but, right. Yeah, we made a good outcome okay. of it. I remember uh, uh, because I I was in with Rajat in the college, no. So okay, uh, yeah. So there there were so many things happening, you know. Um, we used to shoot something, and then we had like so many people with different ideas, and then we would initially we would imagine, okay, this is how a film's gonna be, and mm. then when it came out, the film's gonna be totally different, like different, Me totally too. different from the way we used to plan it. It happens definitely, but then yeah. yeah, all our efforts paid off, and here we are, every one of us, you know. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, definitely. But I'm so elated, you know, seeing every one of you here, so happy, doing your thingies, whatever you're liking, and I'm very, you know, thankful for her, for you guys, for having me here, and yeah, I'm really intrigued by some of the talents we've got. Some of the films were just, just, just mind blowing. the ideas you know it's like oh why didn't i get that idea you know where did this idea come from so yeah the brilliant minds hats off to you guys and all the people um, who are going to be in the award ceremony the films that are winning and also the films that participated each one of you guys trust me i didn't get the time to see all of all of the films though i did watch some some of them were so nice so nice so beautifully portrayed again i'm telling you it showed how well you are you know dedicated to your craft your craft your determination your zeal and zest and your um things uh, that the way you're portraying it you know the portrayals oh god they're so nice and yeah thank you and congratulations to each one of you guys and uh, it's so nice to you know have you all guys together on one platform and me being part of it that was so nice yeah so thank you guys have a good luck with your work thank you so much priya for giving us your time and sharing this insights with all of us i hope everyone will use this insights and go with the creative process and feel motivated Definitely. definitely yeah we have to stay away from negativity while you're making films start meditating breathe a lot keep yourself hydrated be happy definitely. that's the key happiness is the key to everything guys if you're happy your work's going to portray that you know not every brilliant things need a heartbreak <laughs> yeah. true So, all right thank you have a right, great Priya. great so for the session thank and you raja thank you for having me after so long i know you so all know. of you who don't know we guys were uh, together in the college and trust me i'll take a moment for you know appreciating you raja i have never seen such an amazing person like raja trust me and if you bring our class section b they're going to be like 60 people and 60 of them going to agree with me that 
there was no better human than rajat in our class he was such an entertainment and seeing him like this make, giving you guys such a platform having such a platform and he's a brilliant actor trust me brilliant person brilliant inside out person and it's so nice to see rajat like this i'm so happy and hopefully we have some good international festival here in london well, and you yeah, guys yeah. coming here <laughs> Uh, there might be an offline session also like maybe next year all then right we'll tell be, me uh, before yeah. i'm 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 going to try coming anyways i'm coming to india next year <laughs> that's great then we'll surely be meeting na we'll definitely we will be meeting at bali for sure okay. definitely <laughs> all yes. right have a great day thank you right, i'm looking thank forward you. yeah bye yes thank you so much bye bye